there's a story to the third article that you might have missed. It's your story, but it's not about you. It's about what the Holy Spirit gives to you in a storied form. Because you cannot believe, the Holy Spirit calls you by the gospel so that you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. That's chapter 1 of your life in Christ. Chapter 2 is about how the Holy Spirit does this calling in a place that he has created for all whom he calls by the gospel, the Holy Christian Church, of which you are now a part of by your baptism into Christ. That Holy Christian Church has a communion of saints where the Spirit calls and gathers you with other Christians to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ and eat of his body and drink of his blood in the sacraments. That's chapter 4. There in the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, you have the forgiveness of all of your sins. That's the next chapter of the story, the forgiveness of sins. In the large catechism, Dr. Luther writes, Everything in the Christian church is ordered towards this goal. We shall daily receive in the church nothing but the forgiveness of sins through the word and the signs to comfort and encourage us our conscience as long as we live here. So even though we have sins, the grace of the Holy Spirit does not allow them to harm us. For we are in the Christian church where there is nothing but continuous, uninterrupted forgiveness of sins. In the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, you have continuous, uninterrupted forgiveness of sins. Holy cow, that's great news. I know I daily sin much, and I need a ton of forgiveness. So do you. The good news, the gospel, is that on account of Christ Jesus' death on that cross, God has forgiven you your sins. The good news of forgiveness in Jesus, it can't be found or learned anywhere. But in the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints. Only in the church, gathered around the gospel purely taught and the sacraments correctly administered, will you find and receive the forgiveness of all your sins. Jesus has given this gift to the church to be carried out by his called pastors in his stead, at his command, so that you are assured that you have God's forgiveness in Christ Jesus by the working of the Holy Spirit. Having been forgiven of all your sins, the Holy Spirit continues the forgiveness of sins by empowering you to forgive others. To forgive others when they have sinned against you and harmed the relationship between you and them. This is why we pray daily in the Lord's Prayer. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Having been forgiven much by God, we forgive others for the little that they do against us by the power of the Holy Spirit working in us. Having the forgiveness of all of your sins, the final two chapters of the story come in the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. More on those later. Right now, live in forgiveness from Christ as you forgive others. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.